a hydraulic jam is a sudden transition from a high velocity or punch in the flow into a slower free surface flow. The hydraulic jump is characterized by strong turbulence and entrainment on energy dissipation. This photograph illustrates a hydraulic jump with flow direction from right to left on an inflow fraud number of 10. The following movie shows the same hydraulic jump with a flow direction from right to left on the photograph was taken in the 0.5 meter wide channel at the University of Queensland. A hydraulic jump is an efficient form of kinetic energy dissipation at the toe of a dam spillway on at a culvert outlet. This can be implemented to prevent scar or downstream of hydraulic structure. On this photograph illustrates the schematic of a hydraulic jam stealing basin at the toe of a dam chute. The design of hydraulic jam stealing basin located downstream of a structure must ensure a safe dissipation of the kinetic energy of the flow, maximize the rate of energy dissipation, and minimize the size and cost of the stealing structures. Energy dissipation in a hydraulic jump stealing basin may be assisted with elements such as blocks and seals, standardized design were developed in the 1950s and 60s. These basins were extensively tested over a considerable range of flow conditions, and then can be usually be selected and designed without their model studies. One standardized link structure is a hydraulic jam stealing basin USBR Type 3. The USBR Type 3 basin was developed and is used for relatively small hydraulic structures on inflow fraud numbers greater than 4 to 4.5. The hydraulic jam stealing basin USBR Type 3 consists of a horizontal apron equipped with a row of chute block at the upstream end, a row of buffer box about one third into the apron, and a seal at the downstream end of the apron. The stealing basin type 3 was designed and tested successfully for a range of inflow conditions corresponding to an inflow fraud number greater than 4 to 4.5 and up to 22. You need discharges less than 18.6 square meter per second, inflow velocity less than 15 to 18.3 meter per second, and an upstream head less than 30.5 meter. No effect of the shoot slope was observed for slope from 31 degrees to 63 degrees, however, for shoot steeper than 45 degrees, an invert curve of radius is advised upstream of the apron. For identical inflow conditions, the stealing basin type 3 is smaller than the stealing basin type 2. Yet, for large hydraulic structure, the stealing basin type 2 should be considered. Like most hydraulic jump stealing basins, the stealing basin type 3 must operate within a very specific range of tailwater conditions, with optimum operation when the tailwater death equal to the conjugate death, where the tailwater death is the downstream is the water death in the downstream natural channel, and the conjugate death is the one which fulfills the Bélanger equation shown here. Importantly, the hydraulic jam stealing basin type 3 must operate with a tailwater death greater than 85% of the conjugate death to ensure that the jump does not shift downstream of the apron. If the tailwater death is less than the conjugate death, the surface velocity leaving the pool are high, the jump traction is impaired and there is a greater chance of scar downstream. The length of the basin is typically 2.8 times the conjugate death. The shoot block height would be the inflow death, with block width on spacing about the inflow death. A space must be allowed along each side wall. The buffer blocks should be located one third into the apron and placed across the space between shoot blocks, with their height and width on spacing being listed here, with a space along each side wall. The seal height. Uh, should be selected, such as shown here. 
The USB R type 3 stealing basin was developed for relatively small structure including culvert outlet and smooth invert chute on weirs at small dams. A minimum basin developed for a class of smaller structure in which the velocity at the entrance to the basin is moderate to low. Like most USBR dissipator design, the stealing basin type 3 uh, is fairly stringent requirement and includes a substantial factor of safety. The performance of the stealing basin type 3 was recently, recently tested with step shoots, while a different baffle block shape was introduced into the stealing basin, allowing higher inflow velocity and larger unit discharge. The block shape was selected to generate super cavitation around each block while preventing cavitation damage on the block itself. This enhanced design will be discussed in a second part video. Finally, the hydraulic engineers must ensure that the hydraulic stealing basin can operate safely for a wide range of flow conditions. Damage to the basin on downstream natural bed may occur for a number of reasons that are listed here. The design of hydraulic Japanese dissipator on the stealing basin type 3 constitutes a basic application of the equation of conservation of momentum and energy in open channels directly relevant to the design of energy dissipators for hydraulic structures, small dams, weirs, and culverts. This is further discussed in a number of relevant YouTube video movies in the same channel.